Hello everyone this is Aditi and welcome to my channel Aditi's Crochet so today i am here with a new pattern which look like this and this is a very beautiful pattern so let's start so let's begin to start with i am taking this my leftover yarn this is ganga olivia yarn and to start i am taking this hook which is 4.0 mm so let's begin so to start with i have already make a chain of 13 so for your project you need to make the chains of the multiple of 6 normally we take a length of 32 inches to make our blanket so any of your desired length you make a multiple of 6 only and then start the row 1 so to start row 1 we will start from second this one is my second second from the hook and we will make a herring bone half double crochet so to make a herring bone half double crochet take the yarn in your hook and insert it and pull then don't take any yarn and pull through this only like this and then we are left with only two make like this again take the yarn insert in the next one pull through and pull through this also and take the yarn and pull through two again this is herring bone half double crochet take the yarn insert in the stitch take the yarn again pull through and pull through first one and then you are left with two pull through both together again take the yarn insert in the next one pull through and don't take any yarn pull through this also and pull through both again take the yarn insert in the next one take the yarn with this yarn only pull through again take the next one and pull through both again take the yarn insert in the next one pull through and again you have to don't take like this you don't take any yarn and pull through this two and again this again i am showing you take the yarn insert in the next one take the yarn and don't take any like this one just pull through now take the yarn and pull through again in the next one insert your hook take the yarn and pull through again take the yarn and pull through so you have to complete your this row like this only this is herring bug half double crochet so complete this one i will meet you after this row now i am at the last of my first row so for this again take the yarn pull through two and in the next one pull through two chain one and turn your work now row number 2 is the same as we have done in row 1 so our row number 1 2 3 and 4 are same in the first one we will make a herring bone half double crochet so making a herring bone half double crochet in the very first stitch then in the next one again pull through two and then pull through two then in the next one again take this and in the next one so complete your row number 2 3 and 4 like this only and i will meet you after that now i am done with my four rows so after four rows my work is something looking like this this is from the back side i will chain one and turn my work and i will start doing my pattern here so after four rows my work is looking something like this now to start for the next row row number 5 chain one and we have turned our work now in the first five stitches we will go for herring bone half double crochet so 
again what will we do take the yarn insert it and pull then we will pull through first two and take the yarn and pull through two one two three four sorry this is my fourth one four and five so i am done with five herring bone half double crochets then in the fifth one i will make a, sorry sixth one i will make a double crochet so make double crochet like this again in the next five make herring bone half double crochet pull through two and take the yarn pull through two pull through two so here i am having my half double crochet one two three this is my fourth one and this is my fifth one then in the sixth one again make a half double crochet this, uh, sorry double crochet this is my double crochet and again in the next five we will make a herring bone half double crochet one then this is two three four this is fifth and in the sixth one make a double crochet so in this row what we'll do we will make five herringbone half double crochet and in the sixth one we will make a double crochet complete your this row like this only and we will meet after that now i am done with my this row also so to start with the first row, next row chain one and turn your work then again in the first five i will make herringbone half double crochet so start making five we will make five herringbone half double crochet first one is little bit dif dif uh, difficult then in the next one one two this is my third one then fourth one and this is my fifth one now as you can see i have reached my this double crochet which i have done so i will make a front post in this double crochet which will appear as a raindrop like this insert from the back take from the beginning yarn over pull through two and pull through two then again five herring bone half double crochets one two three four and this is these are my five and then in the next one in this one i will make a front post like this then again in the next five make herring moon half double crochet one two sorry two three four and five and i have reached my double crochet so i will make a front post so you will complete your this uh, row like this only and i will meet you after this row so after this row my pattern will look something like this from the front side and from the back side it will look like this like this now to start for the next one chain one and turn your work and now next four rows are again like that only we will make having bone half double crochet throughout our chains so go through 
your next four rows like that only and we will meet after that now as you can see i'm done with my next four rows now to start with the next row we will start with making herringbone half double crochet but previously we have done five herringbones half double crochet and then we have put a double crochet now this time to make a design in between these two right over here we will make eight chain one and make eight herringbone half double crochets so make eight so start making one two three four five six seven and eight these are my eight and then i will make a double crochet then again make eight herringbone half double crochets so one sorry now we'll make five only one two three four and five and then in the sixth one make a double crochet so complete your this row like this only now in the next row i have already done my eight herringbone half double crochets i have my this one now double crochet from the previous row and i will make a back post like this then in the next five i will make herringbone half double crochets so make one two three four and five and then in the next i have my double crochet so i will make a front post double crochet then again in the next five uh, herringbone half double crochets so complete your this row like this only and then you will meet your required pattern so this is a very simple pattern uh, which is just a repeat of two rows means you have to make these four rows then and uh, then uh, two rows for this design this raindrop design and then again four and two for the design row so complete it like this only so look how beautiful it is looking so this is a very simple pattern and this is known as the rainbow uh, sorry raindrop pattern and you can use this in your scarves also mostly we use this pattern in our baby blankets and uh, this looks very beautiful and you can go through my video and uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you like my videos. Thank you very much.